Hi, this is going to be a requested video about Lee Wheelbarger. We usually call him the Warble Garble for two reasons. One, it's funny. Number two, it's easily memed. Look up the meme Warble Garble. And the next thing is that he has a tendency of thrashing about when he feels like it. Whenever Lee Wheelbarger isn't getting enough attention, he knows that he can poke at people and get a video about him. So this response will be about a question. I'm not going to use his name in the video title because there's no reason to. Do you have any comments on Lee Wheelbarger? Okay. Uh, his claims to fame that he lists are like everybody else's resume, subject to interpretation. But the one thing he did list that I was able to confirm when he wouldn't help me find uh, a citation or proof of it was that he was on Modern Marvel's TV show and that he was involved in a project and that he has several patents, most of which are considered uh, mostly sports equipment, but one of them was a hard-to-detect coin-sized key for handcuffs that people could use to get out of handcuffs. Perfectly legal thing to do if somebody puts handcuffs on you if you've been kidnapped or whatever, I guess. This is mostly useful for people who believe that someone would actually go to the trouble of using generic handcuffs. Um, and uh, other things. He also has a claim to fame. He, he's decided this is a claim to fame that he was at Ground Zero on 9-11 and or involved in it in some way. And the story has various interpretations other people give. And the reason I'm saying that, and this is a review of Lee Wheelbarger's claims, let's just get this done, was when I asked him, oh, okay, you were at Ground Zero, I, I didn't know that. Uh, where is the information on this? And instead of giving the standard response, oh, it's in the newspaper, it's just a picture of me, I helped out that day, I, I you know, lots of people in New York moved rubble because a friend was under it or, or they, they went to go help or might have felt they were in the way, but they were really, really helpful and, and have been very self-effacing about it. And many, many people who did this who were just ordinary people who just pitched in. Many people were there. It's a very large city. This is not an extraordinary claim. Instead of telling me, oh, there's a picture of me in a newspaper or there's a photo someone took that you can go look at, it actually shows me it doesn't look like me because, you know, if you're in a disheveled condition at Ground Zero after an attack on the United States by terrorists using airplanes to ram buildings, I wouldn't expect you to look exactly like the photo. Instead of that, the response I got was akin to, are you calling me a liar? Same thing with the Modern Marvels, which was a video you could get on the Internet and you could see it on YouTube. He wasn't able to find his own citation to prove his point. I'm not asking for proof. I consider these offhand statements. Lots of people have been on TV. I've technically been, um, I think, in at least one or two newscasts when I lived in Portland and other locations. Lots of you may have been. If you've ever done an interview on camera, you were probably on the news. Uh, he was involved in a full-on production television show, but wasn't able to state the year or what episode when it was put out. The only reason he has these videos on his channel is because he gave me the quest of going finding him because I had to go find him because I wanted to know before I responded to someone asking me, is Lee Wheelbarger legit? I wanted to find out what he was. And again, one of them is a very ordinary claim. I was in New York at the time this happened. When this happened in New York on 9-11, I was in Oregon, in Portland. I wasn't anywhere near it. Um... <clears throat> Although I have some things I could talk about concerning it, they're not remarkable. And to quote one of my favorite YouTubers' commentary on this, but they happened. I have a history. These are things that did happen. And I don't bring up things unless I either have proof of them, or if I don't, I just say, I can't prove this, but I'm going to make the statement that this happened on this day and I was at such and such location. Saying I was in Portland when this happened is not a remarkable statement. Saying you were a New Yorker or in New York is also not a remarkable statement. Him helping out is remarkable. I can't confirm or deny he did, and it doesn't matter. Who gives a shit what I have to say? <clears throat> Claiming to be on Modern Marvels? That's a claim where you would actually say, yeah, they featured me because I'm an expert. He was living in the state in the United States that he, that he was living in at the time. Uh, it shows him riding around on an ATV. It should be on his channel. <laughs> refused to even give me information, got mad at me, and started saying, 
Look up your name and look up my name. You'll find out that your name isn't as popular. This is not what we were discussing. I was asked to check on what he's claiming. The other thing he has uh, claimed fame, or you want to say it, is he has a um, essentially a sailboat that can be powered by electricity, which is a fantastic idea. And I do believe it's either a bi- or trimaran. Now, immediately someone's going to correct me on that. This will stimulate discussion down below me. And he's the reason I use that joke. You'll find that you're just below me. You're like, okay, since you're going to do an obvious homo... We have to pronounce it correctly. Homophonic joke. I'm going to use it over and over again, like your mama. So you can, again, you can express yourself below me. Now, <clears throat> and if, you, if anybody watching this doesn't get the joke, I'm not explaining it to you. But anyway, but he's, the, he's where I got the joke from. But I'm actually pretty sure at this point he wasn't doing the joke. He just isn't, wasn't being humorous or clever. He just said that you're beneath me as a person because you don't rank. Because did you see the movie Wanted and find out when you Google yourself, which sounds naughty, that you don't show up? That, that's what you're supposed to do if you're a technician or a hacker or whatever. You're not supposed to show up. You're supposed to be invisible. How to be invisible by J.J. Luna. Go look it up. So anyway, uh, for years and years afterwards, he would challenge me to go ahead and look up myself. So I'd Google myself and Google his name and find out consistently I had more hits than he did because he just didn't put out a lot. The one thing I was able to confirm was that he had a YouTube channel called The Loco Lee, which was him being about trains. He's a foamer. He's a, he's a train fan. Maybe even to, into RC trains. Who knows? Again, not really remarkable, but it happened. So, why am I doing this video now? <clears throat> so you ask, any comment on Lee Wheelbarger? Or did not it? What about his disinformation campaign? You mean on the subject he likes to cover because he sees it not being popular? Because people are no longer looking up what he wants them to look up? So he starts controversy, like a, a couple of rap stars recently did, which is pure self-promotion between two individuals. Yeah, seriously, it's not a beef between rappers. It's how they get attention. It's attention-seeking behavior. No, I, I don't have any uh, comment on his disinformation campaign or what he believes. It goes from being, I believe something, whether anybody else believes it or not, to disinformation when you know that you're lying about something or when you actively try to flag people for discussing the subject when it has nothing to do with you, but you make it all about you. <clears throat> now we're going to get to the interpersonal commentary. Uh, Lee Wheelbarger is a public person by definition and cannot flag anybody's channels anymore. He's received a note that you can't flag people for violating your privacy when you're absolutely making sure you don't have it. What did Lee Wheelbarger do that made me mad at him or made me think that he's involved in a disinformation campaign that I'm being asked about. I refuse to respond to this question. Because if I do, this will make it to where it comes up in the YouTube algorithm. It's a stupid subject on a stupid thing to talk about. No, it's not about 9-11, which he would have some experience with. It's not about the stuff on Martyr Marvels that he would have some experience with. It's about some other damn subject that may be outside of his understanding or not, I don't know. The point is, he wants you to ask me these questions. Because he keeps talking in his private live rumble chats, I guess because these both of these individuals are fans of his. It's pretty obvious that you're either fans of his, or this is Lee Wheelbarger showing up with yet another sock puppet secretive account that isn't very good at it. <clears throat> about he, how he snuffed you out. I don't know if you were meant sniffed or snuffed. Ruined you, WapTech, and is tracking your every move in his van. At one time, another statement was made by, not him necessarily, but everybody else doing the same sort of attention sinking behavior, that they could see me through the window while I was doing a video. Because they indicated there's a window over here. You know there isn't a window, right? <clears throat> yes, in North America, you can live in a room, you can be in a, res a, a room that's for human occupancy while sleeping, 
and have a waiver for it not having a window in case of fire. It's it's not illegal. Think really slowly about why. So anyway, <coughs> no, go look up your local laws in your area and you'll find answers. So do I have any comments on Lee Wheelbarger? Already did them. And I repeat it, a very short version of it, even though it took 10 minutes. What about his disinformation campaign? Why would anybody call it that instead of saying what the subject matter is? It's not a disinformation campaign. He has a set of beliefs about things, and he expresses them. And I'm not bringing them up because that's not what the video is about, obviously, because you want more. He's got rumble chats that are supposedly private and live, but you have access to them, so you're a sub. Not missive, subscriber. And uh, he... Um, said he snuffed me out, I'm not dead, uh, sniffed me out, he never found me, and ruined me, and tracked my every move, and he has a news van. You're sure it doesn't say candy on the side? Okay, now that we're done with all that, we're at the 11 minute mark, and if anybody's still watching, Lee, stop showing up with sock puppet accounts asking me to make a video about you. If you're that desperate for attention, if you need drama, make a rap about Drake, okay? That would be entertaining. At least it would have some redeeming social value. And I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, he gets blended together with the other 80 people who do this at one time on a daily basis. Now it's once every two months he'll show up. Now, I, I again, I would humor him by doing a video where I'd show that he would be lower ranked than me on YouTube and Google when you looked up Lee Wheelbarger and you looked up WAPTEC. There would be more hits for me because I simply, at one time, posted too many fucking videos to count. People actually tried to keep track of how many videos I have. I made Rumble and the other backup websites that I that I auto-upload to, that mirror to, actually blocked me at one point because I did too many videos a day. YouTube even told me to stop posting for a full month because they because I was posting too much at one point. This is a long time ago. Th that doesn't mean I'm more popular. It just means I got more crap to say. That's about it. Or I get more requests. So, comment on Lee Wheelbarger. He's an attention-seeking behavior kind of person that would post these kind of requests. And if you are a person who isn't Lee Wheelbarger and you're not a fan of his, which I doubt at this point because of the two channels that posted today, at, within two millimeters, you know, like two, two minutes of each other, come on. If you're not Lee Wheelbarger, um, this is the proper response. Attention-seeking behavior for people who are losing popularity should be allowed to be forgotten. And if it is Lee, would you just put out videos on your own subject matter and, and work off your own merits? Next, something you did decades ago is not relevant because it's not the you that is now. Next, if anybody wants me to cover the subject matter Lee Wheelbarger covers, I'd have to weed it out of all the other people who do the same guy dang behavior. It's kind of the point, I'll, I'm going to say this, if you're watching Lee. This kind of bullshit, I'm sure it's him, at least one of these accounts, it's probably both. Um, Lee, this behavior blends you together with a bunch of other stuff. Now that you're using your space limit line name for your initials for your uh, new YouTube channel endeavors so that you don't have to have your zero ranking happen, you deranked yourself. If you did Lee Wheelbarger, you'd get more rank if that's how you actually use that as a measuring stick of how much of a man you are or whatever. First bit of advice. Second, I have trouble remembering what it is you do videos on anymore. At one point, you went off on the rail, off the rails and started doing videos on lots of different subject matter. Hey, that's my side of the street. Um, why don't you stick to something you're fantastically good at and do videos on it? What I'm fantastically good at, nobody wants to see videos on, so I, I don't do very many videos that get popular. That's why I'm a failure. And I am. But now you're also a failure. Do what you're good at. Do what you're passionate about. And ignore everybody. And if you consider me a hater, fucking ignore me. I'm not a hater. I don't do videos on you very often. Seriously. Make a video about Drake. Just do a Drake rap video. You get a shit ton of views. Just get good. Get good at this. Anyway, I'm going to go back to playing uh, the knockoff version of Russ called Tribals and futz around all day and... Uh, Enjoy the burgeoning summertime here, because it's late. And uh, I'm more concerned with getting good quality cement mix so I can do a patch and a cement floor. You're not on my list of shit to do, dude.
Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. You'll